Happy New Year! Welcome to year 2022, a uh, year of conquering, conquering barriers, conquering obstacles. That's the year we are into. Welcome and congratulations. You made it. Yes, you, 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 you made it. God is indeed faithful. God has a lot packaged for us in this new year and I pray we never go weary before the year runs out. Welcome to another vlog. Welcome to Cicillat Space, my space. Today we are out celebrating with a friend. It's a three-in-one package. I will show you what we get up to. So subscribe, like, share, comment and do all those good stuffs. Thank you and let's go on in the vlog. The order of this kind is a kind. Say amen. Amen. We're celebrating five years of blissful marriage. We're celebrating a new home and a new year. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Let's rest upon our feet. We're going to start with who gives us victory all the time. Father, we thank you today. Thank you, Lord. We thank you for this special occasion. Thank you, Jesus. This celebration is to acknowledge your hand, to acknowledge the move of your spirit, to acknowledge your faithfulness, you, to acknowledge your goodness, to acknowledge your kindness and your mercy over this family. That's why we have come to celebrate. Father, we start asking you to have the right of way. Holy Spirit, help every moment of this occasion. Amen. Let it be glorious. Let it be impactful. Let it bring about testimonies in other people's lives. Amen. Father, we thank you because it shall be a prophetic event. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
I just did R and I know I started business and all that. So to the glory of God, I was doing well with my business, you know, meeting people in Lagos and all that. Then I, I just wanted to settle and be married. I was just wanted the married thing. But at the point, I was making money, but the marriage was not coming. And anything that would give money, legitimately, I'm there. Any business, anything. Funny enough, I met my husband when I was looking for more money. <laughs> and at the point, it was a body, like, I want to get married, I want to get married. But one day I went to church, and, and Pastor Nick and uh, Abi Eni said something. She said, I pray that you receive peace on things. And then we met, one thing led to the other. Six months uh, into the relationship, we proposed. Now, where the testimony came, I, I didn't remember at that point. I didn't remember any more that I said I was going to marry that year. So when he proposed, and I said, okay, my pastor, who is this pastor, pastor? He said, he has been asking me, for Labi, settle down now. So, so now that I have proposed, would you mind to follow me to say hi to my pastor? He said, why not? Let's go now. So when we got there, we had this conversation with him and all that. So was like, so what are you going to do the thing? I said, ah, sir. <laughs> We don't know yet, or we need to go and look for money. Funny enough, the devil will have robbed me of this wonderful marriage because at that point when I met my husband, it was, let me not be, I can say it now, at least things have changed. It was, you know, that's just it. It was, he didn't even have 10,000 in his account. I'm not joking, he's here. One of his friends showed me. His friend showed me his account balance. His friend that he sent him to that he should lend him some money. That I remember it, there's some things that I would like to share with us. Like when we're having the counseling, some few things that he said to us. But the one that found me what he said, okay, well, I want to give you a falabi. A falabi, I want to give you yesterday because it has been from one blessing to the other. The way I connect with my husband, like it's always like I know what is on his mind. I tell people that is what my husband is thinking, and that is it. It has just been a smooth ride. I can count on my fingers in five years how many times I have had this agreement with my husband. I can count it in five years. It's not as if we are perfect, but it's like if they ask me to choose again, I am not going to choose otherwise. I am going to choose my husband over and over again. To share this testimony with people. And then what gladdens my heart the most is to let people know that the doer of this is the one and only mighty God, the living God, the God that reigns over all the small, small God. All other gods, they are the ones of men. You are the only one. There is no like you. So I'd like to return all the glory to him. Hallelujah. For all that he has done for us. For the gifts of the beautiful kingdom that he has given unto us. For the gifts of our um, substances that we can see and the ones that we cannot see. For the gifts of our, our beautiful and, our, and our good health. And another thing, let's not forget. In my prayers when I was single, I used to have commas, commas, and full stop. In my commas, the kind of in-laws that I want. I want to bless the name of the Lord that He gave me in-laws that are my family. He gave me a mother-in-law that loves me and that I love. My father-in-law is my father. My brother and my sister-in-laws, they are my own siblings. The Lord answered my prayers completely, 100%. Today, I stand before you people to say that the living God did all this for me. So being the fifth year, I think it fit to thank him. I can't just thank him enough. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. So take the forefinger of your wife. Amen. Yes. Don't put it yet. Don't put it yet. Relax. Amen. The man has divine speed. He said, I I follow you. I I follow I follow you. We'll continue to have will continue to have you. Yet to name of the Bella As my wife. As my wife. And to continue to live in this happy marriage. And to continue to live in this happy marriage. A loving marriage. In the mighty name of Jesus. 
Now I want to ask you, so you put down the, put the rings. Amen. Amen. Receive grace and strength to do that. Amen. So let me ask you a question. Do you reaffirm your love for her? And will you love, honor, and cherish your wife in health to better health? In riches and wealth from better to the best? Do you promise to continue to love and honor, cherish and protect her and be faithful to her as you have always done? Yes, I will. Yes, I will and I will continue to do that. Amen. Receive grace. Amen. Receive the enablement from the Holy Spirit. Amen. Do you, continue, do you promise to continue to love her after she has no teeth left? Yes, I will. Amen. You know when you are making that promise, do you know you have actually at the same time created a destiny that she won't go until she has the privilege of losing the teeth? Amen. Because I don't take words lightly, I don't take words casually. There are some things we say, you think they are casual. So she has given her 70, 80 years more to live. Amen. Now, so we are going to repeat the same thing. So I want her to do the same thing. Okay. So where is it? Uh, give him. No, put him on, his, on your right hand. Amen. Don't worry. Uh, don't worry. So you can do it. So put your left hand. Say with me. Before you put the ring, I want you to confess this. I. Hi. I, I want you to read it. Okay. Hi, it's We'll continue to have you. We we'll continue to have you. Follow me. As my husband. As my husband. I continue to live in this happy marriage. I continue to live in this happy marriage. Till death do us part. Till death do us part. Amen. So you can put the rings in there. Amen. It's a symbol that God will ensure that is done. Now, here today, do you reaffirm your love for Afalaki? And will you love him, honor, and cherish your husband in health to total health, from riches to wealth, from better to the best, forsaking all others? Be faithful to him for as long as both of you shall live. Yes, I will. Amen. Let's put our hands together. Do you promise to continue to love him, honor, cherish, and protect him, and be faithful to him as you have always done? Yes, I do. Eh, praise God. Hallelujah. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. The strength to do, the grace to do can only come by your Holy Spirit. So sweet Holy Spirit, I ask that you rest upon these couples to give them the grace against every odds, against the challenges of life, against the troubles of life to continue to enjoy your strength and your backing all the days of their life. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Now you're going to say this. <laughs> I. Hallelujah. Your names. Pledge to you. Yeah, your names. Amen. In case you want to know that. You know when God keeps adding crowns to you. You must say it. Announce it. So that ears will tingle that God is adding to this man. Did I hear Dr. Afalabi? It is not by just personal ascribing to himself. He was honored just a while. In some, this month, last month, last month, last month, 18th of December. We are now in January. We have stepped. <laughs> he was honored with that. And we are grateful to God for that increase. Amen. Okay, let's continue. Pledge my love and commitment. 
I promise to love you. Say it together. Honor you, comfort you, and keep you. I pledge to be by your side for the rest of my life. Today, at the beginning of our sixth year, as your husband or your wife, in the presence of God and our family and friends, I renew my vows to you, pledging my eternal love for you. I eagerly await the beauty that life will bring to us. I'm blessed with you. All my thanks goes to God for our togetherness through all these years which has enriched our lives beyond measure. And again, I promise with all my being to love you and to cherish you all the days of our life. As Christ helps me, as the Holy Spirit empowers me in the mighty name of Jesus. Now, before the people of God, I pronounce that this marriage blessed of God. Amen. This marriage is enriched by God. Amen. The packing of God upon this marriage in the name of Jesus. It will continue to come to pass in this marriage. As you hearken to the voice of the Lord, I command these blessings upon you to overtake you, to stay with you, to be with you. All these blessings will come upon you all the days of your life. Blessed shall you be in the city. Blessed shall you be in the field. In the straight countries, you will be blessed. You will be honored. The work of your hand will be blessed. In the name of Jesus, the fruit of your body is declared blessed. Ghost. Let only the activities of Father, the activities of the Son, the manifestations of the Holy Spirit be witness in this room. Anything that is not of God is forbidden in this temple. It shall be a holy habitation. Amen. For Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Father, thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. You will go from increase to increase. Amen. In this home, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, no wicked person will step to the entrance of this place. Amen. No evil wind blows into through the windows. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. No brain crash upon this house. Amen. No jumping over to invade this territory. Amen. I draw the blood line around the four corners of the grace. Rest mightily upon this family. Amen. Five symbolizes grace. So we ask all God for the grace of God and the sweet communion of the Holy Spirit to abide, to reside, to strengthen, to quicken, to help. And God will give you first place in every endeavor. You shall be the head and not the tail and above all and not beneath. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. They will not weep over you. You will not weep over your children. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. We long life will God satisfy you Amen. and show you his salvation. Amen. He will show you his deliverance. Amen. He will continue to show you his prosperity. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, I decree and I declare these hands remain giving hands. Amen. These hands remain receiving hands. Amen. These hands remain blessed. Amen. Whatever you touch, wherever you have to speak, it will be with the backing of God. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I follow me here today. You are blessed. Amen. Blessed beyond measure. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Father, we give you praise. Hallelujah. You have received mercy from God. That mercy will keep being on the increase all the days of your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen.
love is such a beautiful thing and should be cherished what a beautiful testimony what a beautiful event choose right and let love lead